What is up guys, Awesome Nerd Show here, back with another My Morphin Collection episode. As you can see, we have the Power Ranger Legacy figures for Power Rangers in space. So we have the red, yellow, or red, pink, yellow, blue, black, all here in a row. And of course, we're going to go through and open each one as we usually do. And so you can see with the red um, ranger here, and we have a build a figure of the Astro Megazord in here. So we're going to um, just go ahead and open each one. And uh, of course, uh, go th like review each one of them, and then of course at the very end put the Astro Megazord together. And so I'll get all these out of the boxes, and we'll go through each one. Okay, guys, so we got the Red Ranger up here or out of the box now and ready to go. So you can see he's just in the classic Red Ranger space outfits. They all, again, like all the Power Rangers, they all have the exact same outfit. It's just different colors. So it's the red. So as you can see there, even along this chest, he does have the different colors of all the other Rangers. And so this one, of course, Red Ranger is Andros, which is always one of my favorites out of the season. And Space was probably the last season of Power Rangers that I really, um, that me and my brother, like, went, like, hard for, like, the toys and everything and watching it and all that stuff. And we actually had a figure of Andros like this that you'd, like, push on his chest or his back or something. And the, like, um, black circle there on top of his head would, like, light up and show, like, something. Because they used to have stuff that would show up in, like, their helmets up here. Um, but I always thought that was cool, but so this toy just like takes me back to my childhood looking at that um, But so he has like I said his normal red outfit. He does come with a, um, a Holster there for the gun and then they have the guns which I don't know what they're called I um, don't remember and I was gonna look it up, but I forgot but on the gun you can see it's just an all-blue gun It's just like most of the other Power Ranger weapons it like switches and does multiple stuff but then on the um, space stuff here, he does have a logo, which um, when it spins back around, um, it's like up here on his helmet, it's on his belt buckle, but his hand's in the way, and then it's right there on the um, gold piece on the gun. Um, but I assume it's just like the in space logo or something. It looks kind of like an envelope to me, <laughs> like the design of it. But so that's the Red Ranger, and then he comes with the main like upper body of the Astro Megazord. So you can see on the top, it looks kind of like a landing ship or whatever like from spaceships or whatever NASA and stuff but it forms like a giant space or this Zord is a giant spaceship it looks kind of like the Millennium Falcon it's just blue um, but you'd see it looks like a little eye right there and then of course an M logo type thing there and stuff but the, so that's just the upper body of course when we get all the pieces together we'll um, do that but, and so that's Andros the red in space ranger Okay, and so here we have the pink ranger now, so this is Cassie from In Space, and so again, she has the exact same outfit as Andros did, just pink instead of um, red, and as you see, again, along her chest there, she has the colors of all the rangers, she has the logo there on her belt buckle, like I said, it looks like an envelope, again, she comes with a holster and then the gun, and so again, she looks exactly the same, she just obviously got a skirt, and then, um, again, like I said, she's just, uh, um, just exactly the same just in a pink outfit instead of red so there's not much more to these um, other rangers just as you can see that they come in different colors so there's not going to be much more to do to them um again i still don't know what their gun is i like i said i probably should have looked it up but i forgot but i think they once again like the guns like in the show or something they like come apart or something and they have two different weapons like two different guns but in this one they're just all together the same and stuff but she comes with the right hand of the Astro Megazord so obviously it looks left here but um, it's right on the actual Megazord and so that's really all she comes with there um, I wish they would have like more weapons or stuff to them but like I said it's just their um, basic guns that they always start out with in every season of Power Rangers and then she has a holster and stuff so that's about it but that is for Cassie the pink and space ranger and next up here we have Ashley, the yellow in space ranger. So again, she's just like all the others, just in a yellow costume, and she has a skirt, so it's signifying that she's a girl. She again on her belt has the logo on her chest, which you can't see now, has all the colors again as usual. The same helmet with again with the stuff that shows up on the top of the helmet. And then the blaster gun there, of course, with the in space logo, and she does come with a holster as well. Again, not much more to her than that. So just, like I said, all the same. I wish they had more stuff to them, but they don't. But she does come with the left leg of the Astro Megazord. So as you can see it there. So she does have that. And so that is it for Ashley, the Yellow in Space Ranger. 
And next up here we have TJ, the Blue Ranger. Now, of course, the interesting thing about TJ is that he became the Red Ranger after Tommy left in Turbo. So he was the former Red Ranger and now the Blue Ranger again for in space. Same as always, same logo there on the belt buckle, holster, logo, um, all three colors there along his chest. He does have the blaster gun again. It's up to him there just doing, trying to do weird stance with him and stuff. But again, all in the blue. I didn't point out they do have like all this yellow like color like thing around their necks here that um I didn't really point out in any of the other ones. But they all have that. Of course, the yellow, you couldn't really notice it because it all just blended with her. So I don't know exactly why that's there. But again, he has the um, helmet that uh, has, the, of course, the part that... Um, lights up and then of course the logo here. It's real small right there in the little thing But besides their actual color which I mean obviously signifies the difference um, They don't really have anything else that signifies like with the all the other Rangers They usually have something like related to like their number type thing So like of one two three four and five they have something that somewhat signifies that but um, He doesn't or the in space I should say doesn't but it still doesn't matter <laughs> like you can tell by their colors who, which ranger they are and stuff anyways but that is going to be it for TJ oh I forgot about his part and so he comes with the right leg of the Astro Megazord forgot about that so he has that so again we've got most of the body now one piece left to go and so that's going to be it for TJ the blue in space ranger and last year we have Carlos the Black in Space Ranger. So again, same as always. <laughs> it's like saying the exact same thing every time. He's in the all black outfit there. You can see the yellow still again around his chest thing. He has on his chest there all the colors of the in Space Rangers. The logo there on the belt. The holster. The um, blaster gun there. And of course the helmet. Again, with, it's hard to see on the, um, the black helmet stuff. But he still, still has a little circle that can show stuff up. And the logo envelope <laughs> logo there on his forehead. And so again, not much more to him. It comes with everything you see. Um, nothing much else to go along with it. But he does come with the last piece, and it's the left arm of the Astro Megazord. So we now have all the pieces and can build that together now. And so that's, like I said, not much more to add to it, but that's pretty much it for Carlos the Black and Space Ranger. And so here we have the Astro Megazord now, so it's all put together. And so as you can see, as we saw the like main body and stuff earlier, on the top it has the head that looks like the landing shuttle from like NASA and spaceships nowadays and stuff. Has the big M there on its chest and on the um, side or front it does like belt looking area type thing. Um, first off, it does have weird things here and all sorts of little stuff. Like I said, with it being this and not um, an actual like Megazord that you can like transform stuff it's like you just see all sorts of different parts and stuff like I said like little like wing things here that are like folded in but here on the belt buckle it does have the logo along with some other stuff like the like that looks like an envelope um, but the legs with the way they're shaped and stuff makes like when it comes together makes like a like a like a curved thing so it makes it more like a circle so that's why you see like the curving designs there and then the feet I think come together are, are whatever to make like the um the cockpit type area of the ship all together um and so that's why i say with that and then the roundness it looks like the millennium falcon and stuff but this just looks really cool and like i said brings back a lot of memories because we had a thing like this i don't know if we had this exact megazord or we just had a toy of it um but i do remember this and of course we had a bunch of other in space um zords and stuff but like I said, it just brings a lot back a lot of memories of in space and my childhood and everything. But this is just really cool. I love it. And I love these whole like Power Ranger sets that they make the, the Power Rangers legacy where they come with all the pieces, the collect and connect or build a figure, whatever you call it, of a Zord. And so this is really cool. And so next up there's so most recently released they have the Power Rangers, um, they're like uh, metallic and so they come with all the weapons so they're we've already done all the mighty Morphin power rangers but this time they're all metallic colored and they come with like their actual weapons where before they just came with the power blaster um and then the power ranger zia which i'm super excited about is supposed to be the next set um or at least that's what i've heard or no i've actually seen them so like the figures like we did today is power ranger zio and so super excited for that because that's one of my fa all time favorite seasons. Um, so to get the, it's going to be awesome. And so that's going to be pretty much for the in space. So this one I've, I've held onto these characters for months. Like, cause when I buy them, I keep them in the box until they release them all. And I've been holding on cause they released them in two waves. I think it was, um, like red and yellow or something first with the last set of Mighty Morphin. 
and then they did the blue, black, and pink in this most recent set, which I got the black and blue, but then couldn't find the pink anywhere, so I eventually just ordered it, spent more money on it, but or just eventually got it to be able to do this video and get the in space characters all put together. But that's going to be it for this episode of my Morphin Collection unboxing or reviewing or whatever you want to call it of the in space power rangers legacy figures so if you enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up leave any comments you have down below and hit that red subscribe button to see more and we'll see you next time